Okay, hello you guys and welcome. Um, this is a brand new uh, video uh, series, I guess you can call it. We, we'll call it that right now. Um, and as you can see, it's Kerbal Space Program. I just bought the game recently, um, watched some videos about it, and you know, it looked really fun and it, I, I thought I was going to buy it. So here I am and I bought it. Um, it's, $27 on Steam, so if you'd like to go get it, I highly recommend it. It's a very fun game, and without further ado, let's probably get started here. Um, so this is the planet. It's pretty much like you start your own space uh, program, I guess you can say. So let's hit start game here. I have a couple of games already started, um, uh, just where I was testing around some stuff, seeing how to play the game and get used to the game. Um, so let's start a new game. Uh, there are three modes here. We have career, science, and sandbox. Uh, so let's go to career and let's read about each individual one. So starting with career, uh, career mode is... In career mode, you, ha you have to manage all aspects of your space program. Funds, reputation, and science are all active and contracts are available at Mission Control. So that seems fun. Um, and then we got science. In science mode, you must gather scientific data to research new technologies. Funds and reputation are disabled and contracts are not available. Previously classic career, apparently. Um, so I think I'm really leaning towards science. Definitely not going to do a sandbox. Basically, sandboxes, you get everything for free. Uh, science is pretty much worthless and you can just do whatever you want. So. I'm not even going to read that. That's basically all it is. Um, first of all, let's do our name of our save. It says player name, but it's basically just the name of your save, I'm assuming. So let's just name it uh, the YouTubes of KSP, <laughs> I suppose. Um, okay, and then we can choose. Uh, let's do signs because I think science is going to be fun. We don't got to worry about money or reputation. We just need to worry about getting science. So, let's uh, choose our flag. Um, sorry, I got a little distracted there. Sorry about that. <laughs> let's choose our flag. Uh, um, there's so many flags now, and I'm, I don't really know how, but I'm pretty sure that you can import your own flag. Um, but I think we are going to go with this one called Retro. I kind of like that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do Retro. Seems cool. Alrighty, so let's, without further ado, start the YouTubes of KSP. <laughs> Alrighty, um, this is going to be a really fun game, I think. Uh, I played a little bit of it. I love it so far. And just to warn you, uh, I completely suck at this game, so uh, let's, let's, let's do this together, I suppose. So, um, I do know the basics of this game, I think, <laughs> I think. Um, so, basically right here we have this thing called distra uh, the, the distraction. <laughs> let's try that again. The tracking station. Uh, you can basically track your flights that you have out in the world or for other things like objects or stuff. Um, here we have the research and development laboratories. <laughs> uh, this is where you get your science and you do your research and development here, obviously. So this is how you go to get your science. It's like branches of science. Um, here we have the astronaut complex. Uh, you pretty much just hire astronauts from here. Uh, like I said, there's no money, so I think that's going to be free. Just choose the astronauts you want and off you go and try not to kill them. Um, here we have the space plane hanger. Uh, so you can make space planes, and you can probably just fly around Kerbin with them if you want, and uh, you go take off with this runway here, obviously, so that's what that is. Um, and then right here, we have a vehicle assembly building, which is where you build your rockets, and this is probably where you'll spend most of your time building things instead of in the space plane hangar, at least for me. Um, so then we got this, which is the launch pad, and basically this is pretty bit, uh, obvious. You just set your rocket up right over there and then you go woo into space and stuff well hopefully into space <laughs> so i'm very excited about uh very very excited about this uh we have zero sciences um so that kind of stinks but i think 
let's go ahead and look at the research and development. We shouldn't have anything. Um, woo, woo. Let's go over the, woo, this way. You know what? <laughs> okay, well, this is very sensitive. Okay, so we got this, which is the, uh, it's called START. <laughs> the technology was started with, uh, or sorry, started out with a single command pod, some basic engines, a uh, small fuel can canister, uh, whatever that is, some structure thing, uh, and a radio, and a parachute. Uh, hopefully we start with a parachute. Um, okay, and then we gotta move on to buy this one, uh, which is called Basic Rocketry. And that costs five science. We should be able to get that after our first mission, I would hope. Um, and it says, how hard can rocket science be anyway? I wouldn't think it'd be that hard. I'm, I'm kidding. It's probably very, very difficult. If any of you are rocket scientists, you must have a lot of headaches. Okay, anyway. Uh, and then we will move on to get bigger, better branches of our tree. So, wow. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go on back. Let me take a drink. Ooh. Very, very good. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to do that. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, let's go to our tracking station, take a look at the solar system of which we live in. Because that might be kind of cool to do. Okay, so this is our planet, Kerbin, in case you haven't ever played this game or watched anything about this game. This is Kerbin. This is our home planet. So it's basically like Earth, only it's not Earth. It's Kerbin. <laughs> um, and if we scroll out, we got our moon. Uh, that's gonna be really fun to take our first trip to the moon. Uh, but with, with our first first ooh, that was weird. <laughs> with our first mission, we're probably not even gonna get into orbit, so don't expect anything big <laughs> to start with. Uh, right here we have Minmus, uh, which is like the closest planet to us besides the moon, but the moon's not really a planet. <laughs> and then we have, if you move out even further, these right here are not planets. These are just unknown objects. Uh, they're basically meteorites or meteors or something like that. <laughs> um, and this right here is... Oh, that's carbon. Where am I? <laughs> this one right here, this red one, whoops, is Duna. So I think this is like the Mars of the group, probably. I, I'm not sure. And then this right here is Dreyus, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and then if you keep moving out, you've got Joule and the furthest one, which is like Pluto, Elu. And that's basically it right now. And obviously, don't forget about the sun, because that's kind of an important aspect <laughs> of, of our solar system. And obviously, let me zoom back out here real quickly. Uh, for some of these planets, for example, Eve, they have moons as well. So if we turn our attention to Eve... Can I not do that? I, I don't know. Maybe I... There we go. So if we zoom in on Eve... Uh, does Eve have moons? Okay, Eve has one moon, it's in a really weird orbit, it's called Gilly, and then other planets have, some have one, um, and then some have like eight, so, uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's not do the foreign objects, let's do Earth, or Kerbin, my bad. Kerbin, how do you focus on Kerbin? Uh, I don't know, anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez, uh, I can't even X, X out, um, oh, 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 okay, uh, oh. Uh, yes, we're focused on carbon. Uh, can we? Carbon peri- What? What the? Carbon escape? What are you? What are you? This thing has gone mental. Why can I not? Guys. Do you... I cannot leave. <laughs> uh... Um, what am I tracking here? I should be tracking Kerbin. That's Minmus. Let's zoom in. Focus on Kerbin. Uh, what is... Guys. <laughs> okay, um, this is a bit of a sticky situation. Uh, let's focus on Minmus. Minmus, the moon. What the? What in the world is? What is going on? 
Can we not focus on whatever this is right now? Oh, is it this? How do I stop tracking you? How do I focus on you? Well, this stinks. What the? The moon. We are focused on the moon. Why are we focused on the moon? And I'm hitting an escape, nothing happens. Um, yeah, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and figure this out. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I don't really know what just happened there. So uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I have no clue why that did that. Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> We're, we got it fixed. I basically just closed the game and opened it back up. Uh, simple fix, uh, nothing's changed. So without further ado, Let's start creating our first ever rocket with what we have. Uh, we don't have a whole lot, so this might be a little bit of a crap rocket, but <laughs> we'll do our best. Um, so uh, that's our uh, pod. Uh, here we got our fuel. Oops. Woo. Okay, there we go. There you go. Click it. What the? Okay. There you go, and slap one of you on. Well, let's add one more. So I do have some experience building, like I said, because I did a little bit in my ooh, in my other things, but I'm not really advanced or anything. So let's just do four fuel tanks, an engine. Uh, let's do this. I don't know if I'll need it. Not really doing much. Probably I can probably keep it all. Uh, utility. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna want that parachute. And I think that doesn't really do much for us. I think we are good to go with our first rocket. Very, ba very, very basic. So let's choose our crew. Uh, I really only have Jebediah, Billy, and Bob Carbon because I haven't really hired anybody else uh, at the astronaut complex. But we'll take Jebediah. He's very excited for this first ever mission. Um, okay, let's name this spacecraft. Uh, let's name it Excited Jeb Jeb Jebediah. Ugh, <laughs> excited Jebediah. Point one. <laughs> All right, beautiful. So let's save it. And let's go to the launch pad. The launch pad awaits, my friends. <sighs> that is some good drink. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello, Jebediah Kerman. Come in. Come in, Jebediah. Do you read me? Okay. Uh, hello. This is Earth, or Carbon, speaking to you from across the way over there, somewhere. Mission Control. Okay. So, uh, ooh, let's fix our staging. <laughs> okay, we want our engine to fire and then our parachute. Not at the same time. That would kind of be stupid. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, SAS on. Uh, SAS basically just keeps you stable during your flight. Uh, if you have a SAS module, it's more effective, but uh, yeah, this should work out okay. Uh, you can do EVAs, which are space flights and that, but, or uh, space flights, uh, space walks and that, but we'll get more into detail with that stuff later. Uh, we can also do a crew report. Uh, three and, a, or no, one and a half science from the launch pad, which isn't much, so I'm gonna wait to do that until we get up higher. Uh, but it says, you record the crew's assignment, assessment of the situation. Thank you very much, Jebediah. Send the most idiotic person into space for the first time. Okay. <laughs> and in three, two, one. Hit the space bar. Sorry if it's loud. I turned down the uh, sounds before I started. But hopefully I turned them down enough so you can still hear me and still hear the rocket. But hopefully the rocket's not like extremely, extremely loud. Okay. Let's do a crew report again. Uh, the shore is looking inviting, and you watch the waves roll over the coast, and that is three and a half science. But 
if we get any higher, we should be able to get more. So we are gonna try and go as high up as we can. Definitely probably not gonna get into orbit with this. Um, if we do get into orbit, we probably won't be able to de-orbit. <laughs> um, so we gotta think about that too. That is why I brought this. <laughs> um, the radio thing. Communitron. Okay. So if we hit M, it brings up this and your orbital progress. So this is the apoapsis, I think I said that right. And that's the highest point of your orbit and then the periapsis, which we would have on the lowest end of the orbit somewhere. So that's how that works. And if we hit the period over delete or whatever, uh, that brings up your nav ball or something. I don't know how you want to refer to that. Um, so if we hit M again, we go back to this view. Here we come. All right. Here we can see our progress. Here, if you hit C, see what Jebediah sees. Not a whole heck of a lot. It's kind of, kind of weird. He, he doesn't really see anything. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely won't get into orbit with this today. Uh, but we'll get up pretty high. I am not complaining for a first flight. Actually, let's go back into this m view here. And if you hit X, it's gonna cut your engines completely. So, woo! Boy! <laughs> let's not do that. Let's just turn off SAS and turn a little. Stop turning, stop turning, stop turning. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get into orbit. And this is helping. But the problem is the fuel that we have. So our fuel situation, which we just ran out of. So we don't even have decouplers, which get rid of uh, this. Because we don't need the stage, it's just excess weight. Uh, but we don't have a decoupler to get rid of it. So we're going to have to land with it. Um, so let's do a crew report right now. Hello? Okay, crew report. You recorded the crew's assessment of the situation. Three and a half signs. Okay, that is not bad, um, but let me wait until I get closer to my highest point, 60,000 meters, and shrinking. <laughs> um, but maybe it will be worth more up there, and we'll be there in T minus 1 minute 20 seconds. Well, a little less, but close enough. So, uh, let's just enjoy the rest of our flight. We might even make it into space, but yeah, we might, we might make it into space. I think we will. So if we do, then we'll definitely get a lot more signs from that, which would be amazing. Alrighty, <laughs> let's fast forward this a little bit here. Not too much. Oop. Okay, thank you. That's just I don't want to add a maneuver though. Um, hello. That's just telling you that if you go too fast and fast forward, your spacecraft might break. So, thank you. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, almost there, start slowing her down, let's see how high we are, ooh, we might make it into space, how cool would that be for our first flight, still three and a half signs, pretty successful first flight if I do say so myself, and I do, okay, really close now. I don't think we're gonna make it into space, but we're right on the edge of space. You can smell it. It's so close. That would be weird if you could smell space, but okay. <clears throat> um, hello. I would like to do a crew report, please. Uh, I think once we hit 59, I think I'm gonna do the crew report, because that's when I think we are the highest. So I'm gonna hold off on that a little bit. We are so close to space, though, it's almost disappointing. But it was pretty fun. I like this first flight. I think it was pretty successful. Gonna land in the ocean, sadly, but uh, still pretty successful, I think. All right, we're almost to not fi uh, 59,000 meters. So as soon as I see 59, I'm going to hit this crew report button. There we go. And we're still rising. Okay, we still got three and a half signs, so just keep that data. 
thank you. And when we touch down, we will get three and a half signs at least. Um, so really not a whole lot of signs from this. Uh, I don't really think there's any other way we can do anything else to get more signs. So that kind of stinks. Unless when we land in the ocean, if we can try and do our EVA, EVA report. Uh, if we can get back into this, though, that's, that's another question. Yes. Okay, so we are dropping now. So we didn't quite make it into space, but we were pretty close. Uh, if I didn't do that orbital adjustment there, we probably would have made it. But you know me, I make mistakes. Well, you, you'll find that out anyway. <laughs> okay, we are going 802.8 meters per second, so that's pretty fast. Okay. So let's just fast forward here. Fast forward. Okay, let's get ready for re-entry. I don't think this really means, like, uh, we'll start to burn up, <laughs> but I don't think it really has an effect on your spacecraft, unless you have, like, uh, solar panels out or something that might have an effect, uh, or it might have an effect on that. So we'll close those, but I don't really think it matters how you enter. This doesn't look right. Kind of coming in crooked, but give Jeb a break, okay? <laughs> Are we coming in crooked? I can't really tell. I think we'll be okay. So let's fast forward even more. Okay, so that was a really ex successful flight, in my opinion. I think it was very, very well learned, and we will be. I think we'll get into orbit next time. Uh, maybe add some solid rocket fuel, or solid, what, what? <laughs> solid rocket boosters, and maybe add some more liquid fuel, and maybe we'll get into space. Maybe we won't even need the solid fuel, solid fuel, but you never know. Alright, we're getting pretty close now, I'm gonna pop the chutes pretty soon. Slow it down a little bit so we don't crash into the ocean accidentally. That <laughs> would not to be good. Uh, Jeb. Jebediah, you are one crazy psychotic man. Gerbil thing, whatever you are. Alright, we're starting to burn up here. As expected. Let's slow down a little bit. And once, I s once we stop burning up, I think I'm gonna pop the chutes. Which we did stop now. We can wait a little bit yet. We're only at 10,000. And drop in rapidly. Alright, let's stop fast forwarding. Normal time. Okay. Real soon here. Okay. There we go. Pop the chutes. Maybe a little early. And turn off SAS so that the chute can properly do its job, I think. It's under a little bit of stress, the stress that parachute is, but I think we're gonna be okay. Traveling at 240 meters per second and dropping 5,500 meters, 5,400 meters, 300 meters, 200 meters. <laughs> Jeb, you crazy son of a gun. <laughs> uh, this has never been been attempted before by Kerbalines. I don't know what to call Kerbals. Kerbians, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Kerbians, Kerbalins, Kerbonuts, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, 3,800 meters, 700 meters, 600 meters. We are dropping, at a, we are dropping like a rock. <laughs> Come on, shoots. Do your thing. I think they open up at like 450 meters. I think about there is where they open. I think. I don't really want to fast forward here because I don't want to risk it. But hey, I think it was a pretty successful flight. We didn't really get much much science from it at all, but I think it was pretty good. Okay, we're getting close to landing. that out of our way so we can see the splash down properly good job Jebediah 
who needs to send a chimp into space when we got Jebediah? He is our test monkey. <laughs> what brave soul he is. All right, 1,200 meters. Still dropping like a rock. Hundred meters, seven hundred meters, six hundred meters, five hundred meters. And there it goes. So yeah, about four fifty or five hundred meters. I think it opens up to slow you down. So now we are only going at a pace of eleven meters per second, which is, and and that's a drop in even. So we're going at a pretty slow pace, although this might still get destroyed from here down because that usually does I don't know why I do not know why Ugh, okay I had to close some close my curtains uh, okay so 290 meters per sh oh no not per second <laughs> whoops it's a big difference okay Get ready for splashdown, Jebediah. Get ready for it. Yeah, I think that's all the science I was able to do, which really stinks. I might try an EVA report yet, but uh, I don't think that will go over very well. I don't know. Can we do a sample of the water? Has anybody done that before? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mission control, is it possible? Where is land? Don't see any land for miles. Okay, getting pretty close to touchdown here. Or splashdown, I should say. Alright. Really close now. 50 meters. 20 meters, 10 meters, splash down. Beautiful Jeb, Jebediah. Okay. Okay, now comes the decision. The decision making. Can I rotate this? So that, that's facing up. Okay, slow it down. Yeah, like right there. Okay, now I'm gonna get out and attempt an EVA report. Okay. Hold on to it! Oh gosh, is he holding on? Okay, he's holding on. Good news. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Hold on for dear life, Jebediah. Can I not click you right now? Okay, there we go. EVA report. This is most Crush, per crush, gay. This is a most precautious situation. That's the word. <laughs> Five point six science. Not bad. Keep that data. All right. Now comes the question: Should I get into the water and try a sample of the water? I think that's kind of risky. Let's just get inside so we don't lose any of the science. All right. So now. Let's try rolling over so that the radio is out of the water. Woo! Whoa! Holy cow, Jebediah, you're a little crazy, aren't you? Screw it, I say. Let's just, let's just do it like this. Who needs the air these days? Okay. Um. Oh, do you, you need to actually click this? Oh, crap. <laughs> Can I click you while you're underwater? Oh crap, crap is right, okay. The crap is right. Okay, let's uh, do a roll. Slowly, slowly, take it easy, Jupiter. Okay, stop right there. Beautiful. Oh man, I want, I just want, eh. Oh man, this is, woo. This is brutal. Okay. We're not gonna transmit. We're just gonna recover. Okay. So. 
Um, space Center. Hold tight, Jebediah. We'll rescue you shortly. Ooh, listen to those birds chirp. Okay. To the tracking station. Jebediah is way over here. I can't really zoom in. Okay. So let's click it. Splash down seven minutes and 19 seconds ago. And let's not fly. Let's recover that vessel. Yes, please recover. Total of 14 cents. Yeah. Okay. And we got Jebediah Kerman back from that. And next and done. Woo! Yeah. Jebediah is now available for more missions. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's go back. Now we should be able to buy a. Uh, oh, what was that next one called? Basic ro rocketry, I think. How hard can rocket science be anyway? Alright, here. Yeah, okay. So it comes with a fuel tank. I think it's bigger fuel tank. Uh, it comes with this fuel tank. Mystery goo. So you can get more science. And a decoupler. Yeah. This is awesome. For five science. Let's do it. Okay. Not opened up these three. Uh, let me zoom out, actually. Just a bit more, please. <laughs> Can I shift and do it? I can, okay. So, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. Okay. So this is general rocketry. More engines, more fuel, more ambitious ideas. We get a liquid fuel engine, a more powerful one probably, or a better one, more efficient. We get Separatron and a huge solid fuel booster. And from here, stability, so like aerodyna aerodynamics, reaching for the stars with keeping our spacecraft pointed generally in the right direction. Comes with a nose cone, a winglet, and a radial decoupler. That is probably the best sign in that package. <laughs> um, and then here, we have survivability. So the art, of, the art and science of landing and walking away from it. Liquid fuel engine, landing struts, and radial mount parachutes. Ooh. I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Which means I would need, a, ooh, 20 science. I need 11 more science for that. Ooh. Or 10.9 to be correct. <laughs> exact, I suppose. Anyway. <laughs> um, all right, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Okay, we might be able to even get that in our next mission when we get into orbit, or at least into space, I don't know, or crash and burn at the very start of our launch. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, that'll probably be in the next episode, I think I said that, I don't know, but I think that'll be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it very much, I know I did. Look at that beautiful view around, around our space center. In next episode... We are going to try and reach 20 science, so hopefully we will be able to at least get into space. Ooh, look at the moon. Screenshot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like doing that, but okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to hopefully get into space, maybe even in orbit. Woo! Alright. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program.